Recently, there's been an article on the, the BBC regarding energy efficiency certificates and upgrading the thermal element of a property. Now, I'm asked all the time to price for a new roof and I have to explain to customers the ins and outs of whether or not we should upgrade the thermal element and you, you, I mean you take this roof here this roof is a, a not in bad condition however it's got a few problems it's a perfect example of a roof that you could overlay with one of our new 20-year uh, liquid systems now these systems are guaranteed for 20 years and could go on for a lot longer than that however it's also a perfect example of a roof that could be insulated to the new building regulations part l1b and that would mean that the roof uh, would a save a lot of energy and also when we're finished we certificate the roof so that, you, that when you come to sell the property and you have an energy efficiency certificate the um, the roof will get a higher marking and that, that means that your banding that you get put on could go up. Now this is the interesting thing about the article from the BBC. I'm going to put a link to it down below because it's an excellent article but if we look at it there's some interesting parts in it. You just take this bit here. Landlords whose grade is E uh, or lower are going to have to upgrade the property before they can re-rent it. I mean, this 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 is quite an interesting uh, scenario from April 2020. Now, are the government going to do more to do this? And the answer is yes, because if we're going to have to, again, look at look at this one here. Um, we're going to need to do something now, not in 10 or 15 years. Thus, if we go back to your roof, the question should be, if you have a roof that needs some work, should I be upgrading the thermal element? And if I don't upgrade the thermal element of the roof, is it going to come back and cause me a problem in the near future? And the answer is, yes, it probably will. Because if you put a 20-year system over the top of a roof like this, probably within the next five, six, eight years, you will want to upgrade the thermal element, in which case you will then have to have another new roof. So there's a lot of thought that has to go into whether or not you should upgrade the thermal element of a roof. Now it's not just the, the government scenario, it's also a cost scenario. If you take this video I did many years ago, um, this particular roof, we're upgrading new thermal element, there's a lot to it. Here we're taking out the whole front, we've taken out the back, we've had to scaffold the property. It is going to put the cost of the work on this roof up quite considerably. Um, I always say to customers when they phone me, if you want an overlay system or if you want to upgrade to a warm roof system, it's going to over double the cost if you go to a warm roof system. But then again, you've got to think of the advantages of it. So hopefully this video has shown you, you know, where we are. As a roofer, time and time again I'm explaining this to customers um, and trying to get over this information that really it's really important to upgrade now to the new thermal specifications and to do it correctly because we know uh, that a lot of people out there aren't doing it correctly they're not using the correct materials the correct vapor barriers and also they're not what I call tucking it in at the front and the back like we're doing here. We're bringing the thermal element of this roof not, not only across the top but bringing it down the front and bringing it down the back because sooner or later you're also going to upgrade the thermal element of the front of the roof and also the, the, on, on this particular um, roof there's a, a, a mansard wall on the back. That will have to be upgraded. So hopefully this helps. Speak soon.